All right, last time we were here, we created our home page. And now we want to go ahead and make some other changes to the uh, appearance of our site. So we'll go to appearance and then customize. And what we're going to do is we'd like to go ahead and put a picture as a header onto all of our pages because right now they look kind of bland. And so we need to go into header image. And it says, okay, well, new image has to be 960 by 250. So we're going to copy those uh, parameters. And then we're going to go ahead and close it. And while that's closing, I'm going to go to um, Google and paste it in. And then I'm going to type in tennis, which I've already done once before. And then I'm going to click on images. And there is a bunch of pictures. So these pictures are mostly 960 by 250. The, time, the ones that are not, um, I like this one right here. And this is a 960 by 250. We could have got a bigger one and then cropped it. But let's just go with the, since this is the same, the size we want. Then I want to click on view image so I can see the actual JPEG in the browser. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and right mouse click on this and save the image as. And I'm going to go ahead and put it onto my USB drive into our, my Trident Tennis in our images, my images uh, folder. And I'm going to change the name of this to um, tennis header. All right, I'm going to go ahead and save that. And now that it's saved, all right, so after we've uh, right mouse clicked and did save image and saved it as a tennis header, as right there. And then um, now we need to go back to our WordPress site. All right, just take a look at it real quick, just so we can see what it looks like before the picture and then after. Okay, here's our picture. I mean, this is pretty bland. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and now go to customize. And that's going to allow us to go ahead and put the header onto the page now. So the header is going to go up in this area here whenever it gets to that spot. All right, so now we go to header image. And we add the new image to it. Oh, no, we don't do that. First, we have, to, we have to put it into our image library. So that's what we're going to do next. Okay, we're going to go back to our dashboard. And we're going to go to media and then library. Okay, you always want to put the picture in a library and then use the picture. WordPress will allow you to go into the customize area and grab the picture from there. But I don't recommend you do it uh, that way. You want to go ahead and get it all configured in the media library first. Then go ahead and use it on your website. Okay, so I'm going to select the file now. I'm going to go to my tennis header. Open it up. Okay, it is coming in. Okay, it's crunching, whatever that is. And what it's doing is, um, all right, so let's go back to our media library. We can see where it is. And you, you realize that um, as these, there it is right here. Okay, so now we're ready to go to appearance, customize, and get this up into the header. We could have went ahead and uh, configured that file like we did with the other tennis pictures, but um, we can actually do it all in one fell swoop here. So let's go to header image. And then add new image. Okay, and then we go to the media library. 
and there is our picture so we'll click on it and then you can see that now this en ends up over here and what I want to do is I'm going to do Trident Tennis Header and then I'm going to copy and paste that to the alt text and to the caption. There's really not much more to say about about that. Then I'm going to select and crop, uh, but I don't need to crop it because it's already perfectly 960 by 250. So I can go ahead and skip the cropping. Now we had a huge picture here. We could actually crop out the one spot that we liked. All right. So there it is. And now we'll go ahead and save and publish. And this is how it's going to look now. So is that much a little more attractive? Next thing we have to do is get rid of this junk over here. Uh, this is what we call widgets, and they set these things up for as a blog. I also want to get rid of something that would have, would have been down there, uh, which is a comment area. You don't see it here because I fixed it before I started making this video. So let's go First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to get, how to get rid of the comment area at the bottom. As, as you saw, it wasn't there. And that's because I've already done this video two or three times, and I forgot to put that back. Uh, but let me show you how, to, how you do it. First, I'll turn it on, then I'll turn it off. All right, we have our home page, so I need, need to edit that. Since uh, WordPress was set up as a blogging site, they assume that every time I'm going to write something or put something up, they're going to want comments back from people, but that's not true of a static website that we're creating. So if you go into screen options and you see discussion is, um, you want to click on discussion, then close it up. And when you go down to the bottom of your screen, you'll see these two checked. And that's going to put the comments on the page. That's where we would have seen them. Um, if I go real quick. And I view the page. Now that I've checked those boxes and put them on there. Now on the bottom of my page. We're going to. Well, of course it's not there. All right, well, I guess I didn't save it. All right, well, now you know. Uh, in order for you to, um, I, I forgot to, I didn't update the page, and that's why you're not seeing it at the bottom. But we're already getting eight, eight minutes in, and I need to get rid of the widgets first, the next. <sighs> so, and again, in order to be able to, um, It's unchecked. So we want these two unchecked, and the only way you see them is if you go into screen options and check the discussion box. If you don't, uh, by default, this isn't checked, so you don't see it at the bottom, so it seems impossible to get out. All right, so we'll go ahead and update the page now that we have gotten rid of those check boxes, I assume. Yeah. Next thing I want to go into appearance and then widgets. That's the next thing that makes our website look ugly is all those extra stuff on the right hand side of the page that were there as if this was a blog. And that's what these are right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get rid of by deleting each one of these uh, sidebar widgets. Okay. And then I'll delete the RSS feed. And I'll get rid of recent comments. And then we'll go ahead and get the last one done. That's, and you might have some different ones on your uh, ones, but this is how you, you want to get rid of all of them. The only one we want to have on there really is, so we have something on the right-hand side and it doesn't look so unattractive, is the calendar. So I'm going to grab the calendar, drag that onto the side here, and there we go. All right, it's already been updated, so let's go ahead and view the site and see the, how much more attractive it is now. 
So you will see that on the top will be the header. So that's looking attractive. And then we down here, we no longer have that stuff. And where is my, uh, where is, where is my calendar? I must not have saved, but there was no saving. Let's go back and see perhaps why the uh, calendar is not, there it is right there. I'll put a title on there. Trident Tennis Calendar. Okay, and I'll go ahead and save it. All right. And now I'll go ahead and view this page. And hopefully we'll see it there. There it is. Okay, so now our calendar is up. And our page is looking really nice now. Now we're ready to go ahead and build the rest of the site.